with all the negative press that has been out there in the community since E3 for Xbox, it seems like with recent output that they may finally be listening. Let's examine. What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It's your boy MM2K back again with another one. Hey, yo, do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up because I'm not too proud to ask. And hey, yo, let me just say this, man, to the YouTube public. Come out here, man. Be yourself. Open yourself up to the community. Things will flourish, all right? We got too many entities out here trying to treat this like some business, like they agents in Hollywood or something like that, and, and things ain't going the way that they want it to, so they got negative things to say to, about the next man. But big ups to the homie, Next Gen 720, man. Um, episode of the multiplayer podcast that we just filmed did phenomenal. And it did phenomenal, not just because of the panel, not just because of Z. But because of the community, you know what I'm saying? So as long as we understand this is social media and it's all about the community first, you know what I'm saying? Then everybody flourishes. With that being said, let's get to the subject matter of this video. Because when I talk about community, I often think about my battles that I have with my own Xbox brethren in the community, right? A lot of them don't like, don't appreciate that I am very vocal against entities like Phil Spencer. They think I should shut up and go somewhere, right? Maybe some Ajax and die in the corner in the basement somewhere, right? And just let Phil Spencer run him up and do what he's been doing through the community. But what they don't realize or what they don't appreciate or what they won't say out loud is when entities like myself do speak up and help uh, invoke or influence change, that it's better for everybody. Now, what am I talking about? 2018. Uh, your homeboy, Next Gen 720, the aforementioned figure um, from earlier in this video. He approached Phil via social media and said, yo, what's up with all this, you know, diabetes gaming, the sugar diabetes, the sweet candy, candy crush looking type of entities out here uh, exclusively to Xbox. Phil responded and said, hey, look, it's just a coincidence, which we know wasn't the most straightforward answer, an honest answer. But we got notions from very connected people to Xbox that that whole sentiment that was started by Z helped influence the type of presentation that you guys got in 2018 from Xbox at E3. So when you do raise your voice, it does mean something. And see, that's a perfect backdrop to, this, to the subject matter of this video. Since this past E3, when people really said, okay, 2018 was cool, but Phil Spencer, you showed us a lot of multiplats. I want to see what the Xbox got in store. And they're like, this is going to be the biggest show. We got 14 exclusive titles and all the other stuff. And I resonated to the crowd as AAA bangers because that's what everybody's been asking for. That's what Phil has acknowledged that he knows that the quote unquote core wants. I've seen him say this in communications directly with gamers. You know what I'm saying? So he understands what the needs are out here. And when he showed up at that E3 stage and he didn't deliver the goods, all hell broke loose. It caused a bigger rift in the Xbox community. That said, then you also got Google Stadia that even though they're getting, you know what I'm saying, their legs beating the press or whatever with hardcore gamers, they're growing a lot of attention, all right? Because their target demo is the uh, casual gamer. And they, you know, there, there's been some indications they might be seeing some success there. Then you have this partnership with Sony that isn't being so fruitful <laughs> for the Xbox brands. I mean, it might be something that, you know, that, that that's making the Microsoft people feel all warm and fuzzy inside. But when it comes to the Xbox people, Sony's been hammering, hammering them harder before this memorandum was agreed to, right, or this memorandum was drafted. They're sitting there appealing to the hardcore gaming crew by saying, we are building our next Xbox for the hardcore gamer without Microsoft even being able to utter the words hardcore, all right? They've also 
via second or third parties like Square Enix and whomever had games that had a better presence for their platform and their ecosystem than Xbox did at E3 and Microsoft was there, right? You know what I'm saying? And among other things, you know, them leaking specs and creating this whole spec war talk for the next generation. That partnership is not looking fruitful for Xbox. Unlike again, the aforementioned Stadia who has announced a partnership with Uplay Plus. So the combination of those two even though they have completing, uh, competing, excuse me, uh, um, um, products out there in the market with you pay, you play plus going against what uh, Google Stadia's uh, ten dollars stream service, they're playing nice again, unlike Sony is with Xbox and Microsoft. Okay. In light of all this, it appears that Microsoft is making some indiscriminate changes. Finally, right? It looks like that they've started, okay? They started listening to people and some of that cookie cutter stuff that we used to see, particularly on the Xbox channel on YouTube is gone. Now, if you remember, a lot of the Xbox people that were doing videos and so such on Mixer, a lot of them have been laid off, okay? Some of them, you know, we consider in the community the better talent, but that's here nor there. But I frequent the Xbox channels and I'm looking and I'm starting to see that though not 100% there yet, I'm starting to see a little bit more mature, mature themed uh, videos out there and a more adult sense opposed to Buttercream Gang or Mary Poppins sense of uh, gameplay that's being presented. Now they did host this thing in the UK not too long ago. It was called the, the State of Play or some, something that they had out there it was five hours long and they basically brought in stars to play in different games again what it, it ain't exactly where they need to be but it's a little bit it was a little bit more mature themed and all the sugar diabetes gaming they like tucked in towards the end of that whole presentation right you know what i'm saying so my thoughts are okay keep in that direction microsoft keep in that direction as far as trying to appease your hardcore brass, all right? Because we need you to go further. We need you to do more. You still, in my mind, need a hardcore content czar. You need somebody that is specifically in tune with the hardcore content gamers out there that knows how to communicate with them, that can better influence what type of, uh, again, material that you put out there. Because I still don't think that you're there you still got a long ways to go particularly with this five hour event that you guys had that was silly you know it was a, it had a more of an, an adult themed tone it was silly okay um and again lastly this is in no means is your boy saying that this solidifies a hundred percent consistent change from microsoft but it is a sign of for progress nonetheless so, like I said it towards the beginning of this video, we need to keep our voices up. As Next Gen 720 showed us, that when you do speak up and you're consistent and you're persistent, you can influence change. Now, we're kind of in the 12th hour here with Microsoft. They're right around the corner from the next generation. There's not a lot of things that we can influence at this moment that we could have done it earlier. But what we can do is keep the finger of the, on the trigger of plan B is if as soon as plan A rolls out and it falls flat, that that pivot won't be hard for them and they can go and produce the type of games again that got Xbox where it's at. And with that said, that's it from your boy, MM2K. Hey, yo, let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below. As I always say, you can come with me or come at me. It does not matter to your boy. With that said, you know what I'm saying? If you did like what you heard from me, you can catch me on the corner every boulevard. Check out the links below to follow me. Hey, yo, I do a show with your peoples. Neethals, Snow Bunny, Dark Grigget is called Scram Punks. We air it every Wednesday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Dark Grigget's channel. Just look up hashtag Scram Punks for more information on that. And check out my brother in the broadband bullies. We out here doing the damn thing. Check out that Discord link. Check out that Patreon link. Check out that gear, because it's fly. And last but not least, your boy has a new channel that is representing hardcore gritty content. 
It is called the Hard Knock Digital Culture, where we're highlighting, again, hardcore gritty games, hardcore gritty cin cinema, including anime. Check us out. We got content coming out there all the time. Twitch.tv forward slash Mighty Most 2000. And with that said, you all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.